Well, it's been a traveling nightmare for folks across the country. Many forced to sit and wait in terminals like this one here at Bush with a long list of delays and cancellations. Here at Bush alone, 243 flights have been delayed and 123 have been canceled. Like you said, Brandon, airlines are blaming the weather and the Omicron variants. New Year, same old problems. Millions nationwide trying to navigate the cancellation and delays at airports across the country. It's the times we live in, I guess. Chris Beckstead and his wife were patiently waiting to pick up their daughter at George Bush Intercontinental Airport. Beckstead says she was returning home from Virginia. Unlike many, she seemed to have a bit of luck on her side. The good thing is, is uh, her flight's on time today and everything looks like it's good. Since Christmas Eve, more than 13,000 flights have been canceled across the country. Airlines pointing at the only Omicron variant causing a spike in COVID-19 cases, resulting in a shortage of airline employees able to work. Another issue, the weather. Beckstead says they ran into some of those problems when his daughter first departed. My daughter, when she flew into Virginia, she was on Spirit Airlines and uh, they had a delay on the tarmac afterwards. I think she sat in the plane for an hour and 45 minutes waiting to disembark. And again, this has been a problem all day long with the number of cancellations trending in the wrong direction. We already told you about the situation here at Bush, but at Hobby, they've had similar issues with 121 delays and 18 cancellations so far. We're live at Bush, Bill Barajas, KPRC, 2 News.